Howdy! I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to find probabilities and mean values of radioactive decay. Here's our problem statement. When studying radioactive material, a nuclear engineer found that over 365 days, 1 million radioactive atoms decayed to 973,171 radioactive atoms. So 26,829 atoms decayed during 365 days. Part A, find the mean number of radioactive atoms that decayed in a day. Part B, find the probability that on a given day, 50 radioactive atoms decayed. Okay, part A wants us to get the mean number of radioactive atoms decayed per day. So we take the total number of atoms that decayed and we divide it by the total number of days. So I whip out my calculator. Total number of atoms decayed here in the problem statement is listed as 26,829. Total number of days is 365. So here's my mean number. I'm asked to round to three decimal places. Excellent! And now part B asks for the probability that on a given day 50 radioactive atoms decayed. To do this, I'm going to open up StackCrunch, and inside StackCrunch, I'm going to use the Poisson distribution calculator. So let's pop out StackCrunch here. And I'm going to resize this window so we can see better everything that's going on. Now here in StackCrunch, I go to Stat, Calculators, Poisson. Here in my calculator, I need to add in the mean value from my problem, which was here in my calculator. I could just copy the number in, but I really don't need that many decimal places. So let's go out to say five should be sufficient. And then we want the probability that uh, x equals 50. 50 is our random variable here. So I got to change this to an equal sign. And I'm going to change this number to 50. Et voila! Here we're asked to round our probability out to six decimal places. Nice work! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below. Let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com. You can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.